Iyo, gusto ko siyang makakita sa oh, Ginoo mo nang hingato siya sa Hope uh, y'all having a good day today It's uh, Friday afternoon here in the Philippines And uh, we're doing our, our uh, children's feeding and our uh, family bonding day today uh, Because we've got uh, <laughs> we're, we're booked <laughs> for every day uh, It seems like the last three and a half, four weeks have been just non-stop I was telling Lynn this afternoon that after Monday, I need, just please, give me two days. I just want two days to decompress and, and just put me in a bubble somehow to where there's zero drama and, and nothing to do, just nothing but relaxation and, and uh, let me get my strength back. It has been so crazy busy. I'll never complain about it, but, but all I'm saying is I need a little bit of rest right now. <laughs> So, uh, and after Monday, we can do that. Uh, we've got our good friend, Delana, here. She is uh, uh, from Tennessee in America, and um, one of her, her dreams in life uh, was to uh, go to a foreign country and, and share the love of God and uh, to share her testimony. Um, she was a cancer survivor, and uh, then her cancer has come back, and uh, so she... she wants to use the time that 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 she has left in this world to uh share the love of god with folks and uh so anyway uh she's she found future love or we kind of found each other uh she had came here a few weeks ago and and uh kind of had a bad experience with some people that call themselves uh <laughs> call themselves a ministry and uh she just had a really bad time and we went and got her away from that situation and uh so we're we're helping her fulfill her dream and uh so anyway she's having a blast back there we've got a lot of food today uh oh man we've got um uh, on top of all kinds of pastries we have uh fancy canton that's uh that's noodles with chicken um and we have uh, other pastries that's stuffed with chicken and things like that. Plus, we have more soap this week to give the moms. We have the care packs that have enough for five meals in each care pack. And they have, uh, uh, we've got soap to go with that, washing soap. And uh, this week we have good sandals, not just flip flops, but good sandals, shoes. Um, for all of the mamas, and we have a brand new, not okay, okay, and we have brand new underwear for all the men, all the papas. So this week everybody's making out good, so they're going to be really happy when they see all the stuff that we got. And we got one man here who is very enamored with the American lady that's here. He's already asked me several times, is she married? I'm like, <laughs> he's over there, he's all giddy and he's all happy, so anyway but uh anyway we're here we're doing our family bonding uh, today and, and our, our feeding and stuff we got a lot of people here it's very hot uh we finally started getting a little bit of rain here and there and uh that's a good thing and that's allowed our big tank uh for us to have water from time to time so praise the lord for that our electricity's been off all day it finally came on a little while ago but uh anyway we're doing good for now uh, before I close out and just let you guys watch the rest of the video, I just wanted to say that that, that if you ever want to go to a, a, a country, any country, you know, a, a third world or developing country anywhere in the world, and you want to do mission work, please, please, please do your research before you just jump on a plane and go anywhere with anybody that says, you know, standing behind a pulpit holding a Bible you know claiming to be a, a ministry somewhere please do your research and uh you know <laughs> uh you can find yourself in some very very bad situations and you're in another country and you're at the mercy of their laws their rules their regulations and uh it can uh your your plan to go and and do amazing works and share the love of god with people can turn into a nightmare your dream can turn into a nightmare so please Please do your research. And if you want to come to the Philippines and, and do real 
real mission work, not just the kind of, of mission trips where you go to and they tuck you away in a condominium somewhere and parade you around and do this, this and that and everything's very structured and, and uh, uh, things like that. If you want to do real stuff, getting out in the field, sweating and hot and eating the food that everybody else eats and uh, just doing the real work, but I, I, I come right here. Come here. We will accommodate you. We have everything you need for here. We'll make sure you get plenty of food and stuff like that. And I promise you, your life will be enriched. And you'll go back to America or whatever country you're from saying that the most, the most amazing mission trip they ever went on was a future love mission trip they went to in the Philippines. So just saying, come here and you will have a good time and you will get to do real mission work. And I promise you, when you leave here, you're going to be so exhausted you're gonna think you're not gonna be able to make it home on the flight. You're just gonna pass out and you're probably gonna need somebody to carry you home from the airport. But you're gonna have memories that will last a lifetime, I promise you that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you everybody out there that makes all this possible for sharing our videos, for your prayers, and for do your donations. We love you all. God bless. Good day.